Okay, well, welcome back to part four of the demonstration of this FED blood glucose meter, the BGM2 uh, system from FED. We're going to uh, demonstrate the process of actually running a blood glucose test with this meter now. This meter in part one and two, you'll see, has been opened, operated and set up. So we've got the time and date set into this. And when we're ready to run a, a test with the correct code chip in the side, all we need to do is apply a test strip and the meter will automatically turn on, demonstrate the code chip and indicate that it's ready for a blood sample to be administered. Now this is a Sterilance Auto Lancer that I've already preloaded, so I'm just going to do the finger prick now. And here we're just going to form the blood drop. There we go, nicely formed blood clot. It's okay to squeeze your finger pulp when you're doing a blood glucose analysis. And now we're just going to apply this into the side port of the test strip. You'll see the blood transferring directly across the test strip and filling the port. And the countdown starts. And in under 10 seconds, you should get the blood glucose displayed. The display settings, we uh, gave you the option when you're in setup to choose between millimoles per litre and grams per deciliter. This one's in millimoles per litre and shows that the current blood glucose level there is 4.7. So that shows just how nice, quickly and easy it is to operate this system. If we just remove that test strip now, the meter will automatically switch off. The test strip can be um, got rid of. The uh, auto lancing device now, if we just operate that, show you how to use it. Again, the test strip is in the auto lancer. I'm just going to push that into its cover like that so it's fully loaded and then the uh, auto ejection of the test strip and those can be destroyed. So there we have the normal operation of the Fed2 BGM meter for testing your blood glucose. It's a very nice, simple, easy to operate, very clear display, automatic on off. Once it's set up there's nothing further you have to do. The key elements here are to ensure that the code chip is always left into the side of the meter and the code chip corresponds with the batch of test strips that you are using. One other key element in the care of your test strips is to ensure that the lid is always put firmly back on the test strips and that the lid is not left open for long periods of time between operation. This ensures both the accuracy and quality of the test strips is maintained to the manufacturer's guidelines. It is recommended if you're only testing very occasionally that once the seal is broken on these test strips, you should aim to consume the contents within three months. That basically assumes that you are putting the lid back on on every occasion and that will maintain the quality of those test strips over that period. If the lid is left off and they absorb atmospheric moisture, there is a risk that the test strips could deteriorate and stop functioning before that period. So there you have it, the BGM to meter from FED. This is available from the Value Med websites, also available widely online. The consumables for this are the Fed FED blood glucose test strips available in packs of 50. We bundle those with 50 of the Sterilance lancets and widely available also online are the Sterilance auto lancers should the springs go and you need to replace those but it's quite a robust nice easy to use unit so it should last several hundred tests if not longer.